Do you believe in ghosties and ghoulies and things that go bump in the night? <laughs> Where do you go to hide when your excel is haunted? I'll tell you. Come closer. Closer. They're here. The secret is out. The XL formula for the four Pac-Man ghosts. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. XL gets lonely sometimes, and I want to bring in some of my old friends. No computer code, no macros, all logic and arithmetic. If you want to see more of these videos, please leave a comment to let me know your favourite games. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I built the ghost in stages, starting with the head, then the body, the feet, both types, the eyeballs and the pupils. Not forgetting the colour changes. You can check out my previous videos where I made Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. With both of their videos I started out with a black grid. Pac-Man was symmetrical around zero, which made him a bit easier to build. These pesky ghosts are going to be a bit tougher. The ghosts are symmetrical, but only if I ignore zero, so for these ghosts zero doesn't exist. Spooky or what? As before, I'm not moving the ghosts, I'm moving the grid around the ghost. First step, the head. The ghosts are different colours and have names. It's an easy way to remember the ghost names and that's by memorising them. Blinky is red and never blinks, just like all the other ghosts. Pinky is pink, because pink is the colour of Pinky's pinky. Inky is cyan. Inky sounds like Inca, and cyan sounds like Mayan, which are two Mesoamerican civilizations. Clyde is orange in honour of the lead singer of the Commodores, Walter Clyde Orange. I'll need to give Pinky a neck, and to stop it looking like he's poking his head over a wall, a body as well. So I've uh, got myself a little pink monster, ladies. Oh my, he's turned blue. I must have been out in the cold too long. The ghosts all have that Scooby-Doo look about them. As the ghosts move, their legs, or rather the sheet, move underneath them. The legs and all the ghosts move in complete unison. You know, like when a group of women live together and after a while they sync up and every month they, they all have the perfectly natural urge at the same time to, uh, to, um, to watch Pretty Woman. The legs are triangular waves. And just a little bit of manual override to make this triangle into a square. The ghosts look the way that they're travelling. Oh, Clyde! This is what the ghost should look like with no pupils. But making little mistakes with the eyes produced all sorts of results. We've all heard of Skeptical Owl and Skeptical House, of course. Let me introduce you to Skeptical Ghost. And this ghost is so sceptical that he doubts his own existence. The eyeballs are just smaller, whiter versions of the ghost head. I had a lot of fun doing the eyes, and I ended up with my own version of the Seven Dwarves. Dopey, sneezy, Ashful, Doc, Happy, Grumpy, and Sleepy. Here's Ms. Pac-Man to complete the set. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Well, Snow Yellow. Yellow, Snow, and the Seven Dwarves. But here's my favourite ghost, Eagle. Damn your eyes! Too late.
And this is it, the XL equation for the ghosts. Although the real complexity is in all the frames of reference in the X axis. As usual, I'll connect the ghost to a scroll bar. There's only one ghost, but this one changes colour as he moves. Here's the whole thing one more time. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Excel art. Don't forget to put in the comments your favourite old games, and I'll animate the best suggestions in Excel. Thanks for watching. Damn your eyes! Too late.